Imagine new server design or a section with small servers or links for public servers that you can share with people. Well, in this video, I will show you way more than that and how you can get it yourself. From store 2. So let's start by installing the extension from the store. You just open the store and type Robloxes and it should show right away. Now click get and then add extension. And that's it, you have it. To customize and see the future, you can click on Roblox keys, then click the big red button. Or go to roblox.com slash robloxes. At the bottom of the about page, you'll see all the futures. As you guys can see, Roblox keys can do all of this. And at the left, you can navigate to different pages that can customize Roblox keys. Also consider subscribing for more like this. At all tab, we can set custom Roblox text such as 1 million plus or we can just type Bobux as an example. And after I press save, it should be working. And as you guys can see, Bobux. Right under it, we can set custom names such as subscribe to Anir. And we hit save again. And if we refresh the page, here it comes, subscribe to Amir. Under that, we can enable or disable desktop app button. It's basically Roblox app, but for PC and without uninstalling it. You can open it by clicking the desktop app button on the left navigation panel. And it should open the Roblox app on the Roblox player. It's a hidden Roblox future, but Roblox is made it available for everyone. At game page about tab, we can enable or disable the new design, which looks like this. Also, it shows when the badge got created or updated. Under it, you can enable or disable hidden badges, which is basically disabled or hidden badges. As you guys can see, it shows me the hidden or disabled badges. And all of them have links. Now, if I click on one of them, as you guys can see, it works. At game page on servers tab, we can select which section we want to edit by the drop down. At public servers section, we can enable or disable the new design, which looks like this. Also, the first player is the number of players in the server, and the background color changes depending on the player's count on the server. Under it, we can enable or disable a button to copy public servers link. Normal public servers doesn't have a link, but by using this extension, you can. Before sharing the extension, make sure the other person also has Roblox is. Under that we can enable or disable page navigator so we can navigate to any page we want using the arrows or we can directly input the number we want. Unlike other extensions it doesn't remove the load more button which you still can use. Subscribe if you think I should continue updating this. At small server section we can enable or disable the small server section which if I save this and refresh which shows some servers with low player count. As you guys can see, it's only got one, 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 one. It's like finding a small server, but without navigating using this. Under it, we can enable or disable a button to copy public servers link. Again, because public servers doesn't have links, sharing links will need Roblox keys. At front section, we can enable or disable the new design. Under it, there is a rename join button option that automatically renames join text on button to either join public server or join private server. So as an example, this server got remade to join private server. So I cannot join this server because it's a private server and I have no access. It's very helpful to know if you're friend is in a public server or private server. Under that we can enable or disable links for public servers. Links only gonna show for public servers and again because public servers doesn't have links sharing will need Roblox. At private server section we can enable or disable the new design. Under it we can enable or disable a button to copy VIP servers link. Even if you don't own the server you can get VIP servers link. This one doesn't need Roblox keys to share the link because it uses the generated server link. Well as long as the server have a generated link. And the secret of it was mentioned in one of my videos. Under that, we have automatic load more option. That automatically clicks load more button of private servers. As you guys can see, it automatically loaded every single server without me clicking it. And lastly, the available servers only option. It can remove all servers that you can't join or doesn't have join button. Which is very helpful for people who have a lot of VIP servers. As you guys can see, it removed every single server that I cannot join. At friends page, on the friends tab, we can enable or disable quick remove button. which shows a remove button next to people in friends tab also you'll need to click the button twice to remove people so don't worry if you click it once by accident so that's all the features for now if you have ideas for more features you can join the discord from the about tab also comment down which future you really liked for me it's the new design and subscribe for more like this so that's for this video if you enjoyed hit the like button and share it with your friends so they also can use it and see you in the next video